If you want cheap games, Xbox Live and BSN codes, check out G2A in the description down below. Use code ZERO at checkout for discount. Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today is episode 12 of my spending spree Saturday. We have 1,068,000 coins to spend today. Last week, we managed to get a piece to Electro Brain, so I'm super excited. We finally got a first legendary. Well, in today's episode, we are actually only going to be opening the fertilizer fun packs. These are 35,000 coins. We're going to only be opening these packs. So let's just start it off by opening a first pack. Now, the support still on these videos uh, insane, but Hopefully we can get a few legendaries in today's video. We get silver Sally stars, silver rainbow coins, we get weighted dice, gold apples, head scratcher, pumpkin weed, and also a skirtish room. So, I'm hoping we can get at least one legendary in today's video. I'm hoping, you know, if we can get two videos in a row, that would pretty that would be pretty, pretty awesome if we could manage to get three in a row, uh, two uh, videos in a row with a legendary. And I'm hoping we could get a character piece rather than actually getting a, um, a, a customization. But I'm not complaining. I would still happily go for a customization. But uh, yeah, let's just go through these customizations here. I'm not going to read them all out like I usually do just because I know you guys find that a little bit boring. So we are going to go through them just a little bit quicker just why I do uh, do talk over it. So still no legendaries just yet. We do get some, uh, some gem dualies which is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know in the comment section down below any uh, any legendaries that you have, you know? I want to know like what customization legendaries you've got. I want to know what uh, what characters you've got. And also let me know which characters you have and also which one of them is your favorite. Look at this gold swirly twirls. That's pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below which characters you have and which one is your favorite and why. Also, let me know which one is your favorite party character. Ooh, gold chompasaurus. Let me know which is your favorite party character because I feel like the party characters are okay but they could be better. Look at this. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but you never know in the next uh, patch update, which we are hopefully going to be getting maybe towards the end of May, start of June, when we do get a new content update, hopefully we will be able to maybe uh, get some kind of little uh, character balancing and maybe the party characters can be slightly increased in damage as well because the party characters, they are a legendary character, you know? They are a legendary character, so you have to play Infinity, so you should be rewarded by having a more powerful character. Not saying that they should be overpowered, but they should be definitely more powerful than uh, than probably just the standard character. And yes, they do have a party mode. We get a special, but uh, yes, they do have party mode, but it is sometimes difficult to go into party mode because the overall damage of that character anyway is lower than, like, the standard kernel con so it's very difficult to get uh to the party mode and get the party meter because for example uh party con i think his damage is like three and four damage per bullet which is pretty terrible for a kernel con character he's meant to be the run and gun class he's like the the foot soldier for the plants team which can do like maybe eight and nine damage and the standard kernel con i believe can do like eight damage anyway so having him on no party mode on like three to four damage maybe four to five it's, uh, it's pretty weak and it's very difficult. We get another special. It's very difficult to actually get to uh, to the level of uh, being able to get into party mode. Now, keep in mind, if you do go down in party mode, you can actually be revived and your party mode meter will remain how it was before. So that's one positive for playing as party characters. You do want to be revived, whether that's being by a scientist or not, because your party meter will not reset. It will continue to where it was before. But here we go. We are about halfway through these packs so far. We've still not managed to get a legendary just yet we have been getting some cool customizations though i've been going through them but i've just not been naming them but uh yeah pretty happy with uh with how the game is so far still really enjoying it still getting these spending sprees out i'm actually going to have it later on today a classic character or a fan favorite video these are going to be the characters between um garden warfare one that you guys really really enjoy such as the super commando camo ranger marine biologist chemist yes the kind of the powerful ones there we go we're gonna silver cheese trick special um but yeah, they kind of are the overpowered ones, but we're going to play them in Garden Warfare 2 to see how much they've actually changed in the game. I have done a few recordings already. The one that's going to be coming out later today is going to be with the Camo Ranger. We get another special. We get so many specials in these videos and not too many legendaries. But uh, yeah, we are going to be having the Camo Ranger later today. See how much he's changed. And let me say he has changed a bit. 
not going to say how, but uh, yeah, we are going to be playing as the Camo Ranger today, so uh, make sure you do go check that video out later on today, and also, I am going to be streaming later today as well, so uh, yeah, let's see how we are going in these pack openings, we've got 400,000 coins left to go, and we've still not managed to get a Legendary, so hopefully we can, I don't know if we will, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a, uh, a legendary. And we are actually going through these packs that a little bit quicker than what we usually do. Because I know you guys say they do drag on a bit. And uh, you don't want me to just read every single one out. So I am just going through them. As it, and then you can, if you do like something, you can, I guess you can pause it on uh, on the screen. But, uh, oh, that was the wrong pack. But uh, yeah, uh, we've got 333,702 coins remaining. Fingers crossed we can get some kind of legendary in at this pack opening. But so far... Silver pinchy crab. So far, it's not looking like it's going to happen. So, um, yeah, look at this one. Silver morning shower. I love that customization. And we get a weed as well. So, fingers crossed we can get a legendary. And, um, yeah, we get some team retries. Get a couple of cool customizations there as well. This one's pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, so, so what are you guys excited for about the next update as well? Have you seen the brand new Zomberbia, uh, not Zomberbia, the brand new map, which we don't even know what it's called yet. Uh, well, we kind of think we know what it's called, Zombopolis, but uh, it's not confirmed yet. It might have accidentally been mentioned in the last live from PopCat livestream, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited. That map looks amazing. I've seen a lot of the customizations that we've had as well, which look pretty super, super amazing as well. We are going to be getting character balancing, and who knows what else we may get. We may get some new characters. We may get something related to Infinity, and I'm sure we're probably going to get some more customizations for the backyard. Not customizations, some more maybe quests for the backyard as well, like we had the potted plant quest. We got the golden rose statue. Can't believe we've not had her yet. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited for the next update, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. I'm going to be bringing you a ton of videos when the DLC or the content update does come out, so make sure you do stick around on my channel. Look at that one. That one's pretty awesome. Make sure you do stick around on my channel to uh, to keep up to date with all of the information on the next content updates, along with a lot of content update videos once we do get the release of the DLC. So... Not many coins left to go. We've only got a few more to go. And, uh, yeah, this is looking like it's not going to be a legendary two-in-a-row video. But uh, we can still open two more packs. So you never know. We could be surprised. So, look at this one. Gem at Flamingo. I swear I get some of these ones before. I know they do, like, the gold, silver, and, every and, and everything like that. But I'm sure I've had, like, the Gem Flamingos or something like that before. I don't know. We get Silver Traffic Lights. Gold Future Spartan. That's a pretty nice one. Who wants a cat for Colonel Corn? <laughs> That's pretty, pretty awesome. Here we go, into our last, uh, what are they called? Fertilizer fun packs. And do we get a legendary? We don't. We get three team retries. But we are going to be finishing off with, uh, we can open uh, an extraordinary pack. Or should we open two helpful fun packs? I think an extraordinary pack would probably be the better option to uh, to go for. So let's open this pack. We get some green eyebrows or green Eugene. I think it's gem though. Uh, Gem Eugene for the Imp, which is pretty awesome. And we'll finish off with a Minions Booster Pack as well. But we don't get a Legendary in today's video, which is a little bit of a shame. But we do uh, we do get a lot of customizations. Let's actually just go see how many uh, how many coins we've actually spent in this game now. Because I have no idea. We've got 30 million coins spent so far. But I believe that doesn't include uh, coins that you do get in chests. So probably 40 million coins on packs. And we still don't have a Legendary. But... There we go, guys. That is episode 12 of my spending at Spree Saturday. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Let me know what you thought about it being that little bit shorter, like not going through and naming every customization. Let me know in the comment section down below what you do think about that. And uh, make sure you do tune in later for the new video on the fan favorites for Garden Warfare 2. But thank you very much for watching, guys. My name is Derek Fusions, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one.